right guys <clears throat> i'm gonna be doing a bit of gaming uh on the iphone uh 14 pro max with the backbone um so i've, I've always told you guys about this uh accessibility button this uh, thing you need to have this off because this won't work properly with the backbone uh, so what i like to do is in here i like to go to shortcut tap on the shortcut here open settings to enable accessibility shortcuts uh, once that happens um i think it's um you need to tap on accessibility no it's not the one uh tap back and you know you're in here is accessibility you need to tap on touch and then tap on uh, assistive touch and where it says touch here you need to turn that off once that is off now you can attach the iphone to the backbone right so all i'm doing here is trying to find the, the slot you see it's in and then you're gonna pull backwards on this one just pull and the iphone will just sit in place you see and it's charging right you see it knows it's on the backbone and it wants me to initiate the backbone if you want to avoid all this backbone stuff uh my suggestion is if you don't want to do all this backbone stuff you can come out of it just um uh oh yeah just swipe upwards close it just close it and that's it why i'm saying that because you don't need to have it you don't need it to be active you do not need it to be there and then you can game yeah so the games that i like playing with the backbone are uh call of duty modern warfare uh, sorry, um, COD, Call of Duty Warzone, Call of Duty Mobile, War Robots, and Fallout 84. Um, games that don't work with it, well, PUBG Mobile. But PUBG Mobile does work on my Samsung. So that was about the, the backbone and the iPhone and the accessibility and why you need to turn that off, you know, enable to, to play this um, properly on the backbone. Because if you have it on, Every time you tap on a button, it will exit you out of a game because the accessibility is still active. So you need to have that uh, turned off. So that's about the backbone with the iPhone.